Hey everyone. Alright, so every year I get a ton of requests for a zombie tutorial, and I don't know how many of you out there are like me, but I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of playing Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. So, in honor of those video games and all of your requests these past years um, for a zombie tutorial, I thought I'd do something different, and instead of just doing one, I'm going to do three for you guys. Um, I'm going to do this one right here, where I don't use any prosthetics or anything like that. It's just all makeup to create like a common infected look where you can do whatever you want with it. And then later on in the week, they're going to get more in-depth and more disgusting. So this will come in handy for any of you guys who are doing zombie pub crawls, are being a zombie or a zombie blah 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 whatever for Halloween. Um, or those of you who just like to do zombie photo shoots or anything like that. So with all that said, let's just go right ahead and get the tutorial started. This is my skin bare. This is naked skin. There's nothing on it except for moisturizer. It's clean. It's moisturized. And you can see like all the scarring. You can see discoloration. You can see all of that. And I'm going to leave it because there's absolutely no point in covering that up when you're trying to make yourself look like you died and then you came back to life and you're like the living dead. Um, so you don't need perfect skin. So if you have under eye circles, if you have discoloration, anything like that, work with it. Like make that part of the look. So just based off of this, you can see this side already looks just a little bit different, and I'm trying to make my skin look dry and flaky and add some texture to it. Now what I'm doing is I'm just taking a wet sea sponge. Um, you can get this anywhere where they sell paint, like craft stores, um, hardware stores, anywhere. I got it wet so it's nice and soft, and then I'm just going in with a light colored foundation, and I'm just picking up a little bit on there, dabbing it on the back of my hand. And then I'm just applying this in random spots, but pretty much all over. Um, you just want it a little bit more intense in other areas than some. And of course get by your eye and everything like that. Then once I have that on, I just take another area of the sponge that doesn't have the foundation on it. And then I just go in and dab all over everything. Now you can see what this is doing, it's paling out my skin a little bit, but not where it just looks like it's all over, like I just took one solid color and painted my face with that, because it's also adding the texture on top of um, paling out my skin. So you can see already that's making it look gross, um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep going in and blending this in a little bit more. If you need to add more, feel free add more. Um, these don't have a set look, so you can do whatever you want with this. Now that I have that light color on and all over, I'm going to do the same thing, but now this time I'm just going to go in with a darker color, and I'm just going to use that same sponge, and I'm going to do the same thing that I've been doing, um, and I'm just going to go in and add some more depth and texture. Um, wipe it off on the back of my hand, and then just go in wherever I see fit, and do the same thing. Now that I have all those colors on my skin, I'm going in with the Temp2 Dura palette. This is um, the corpse one. This is alcohol base. But now I'm going in with this color right here, which is um, called Vein. And then I'm just drawing on very light veins uh, all over. Okay, so I have the blue veins on. I took this contact out because I want to see what it looks like with just one. If I don't like it, then I'll just put it in later. But um, now I'm going to go in with this same palette, the Corpse palette from Temp2. And I'm going to go in with this color right here. You can't really tell seeing it right there, but it's called Rigor Mortis. I'll actually show you guys what it looks like. I'll just paint some on the tip of my finger. But you can see it's a more of like a eggplant reddish um, plum kind of color, so I'm going to use that now, and the same way that I did the blue veins, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm just going to add a few red veins in there as well. And 
And one thing I like to do is once I get the product on, I just like to tap my finger on it a little bit. It kind of dulls down the color so it's not as intense just in case you get like a little bit too much product in one spot. You can always go in and fix it. Now I'm going to go in and do um, some more stuff on the face that isn't on the eyes using this palette. I'm going to use Old Bruise, Dried Blood, and Blood as my colors. Um, I'm just going to go in and like add some bruising, maybe of course Dried Blood and stuff like that. So I'm just going to pretty much go in and do whatever. Again, remember there's no right or wrong way. You just do it. Okay, so that's on. I just did it mainly right here. I put a little bit right there, but then I stopped because I was like, I'll just do that with like eyeshadow. But now I'm going to start working on my eyes. Again, it's going to be up to you. I'm going to make mine look more irritated, red, and puffy. So to do that, I'm going in with a red eyeliner. And then I'm just going to line my waterline, um, which is that little ledge right there. And then also put a little bit of this underneath my eye as well. Then I'm also going to put a little bit of it up on to my eyelid. Then once I have that on, I'm actually just going to go in with my finger to blend it out because it doesn't have to be perfect and you don't really want it perfect. My brows are annoying me. Um, they're a little too, like, perfect looking for this. So I just put a little concealer on one of these little uh, spool brushes and then I'm just running it through random spots of my eyebrow to coat the hairs. Um, that way they'll blend into my skin a little bit better and look like they're not there. Now I'm just going in and adding more to the eyes. I'm adding like the red. Again, I'm doing mine to look a little bit more like irritated and just like infected. So I'm going in with this bright red eyeshadow right there. Um, this one's from Sugar Pill. It's just a nice bright primary red. But red on its own is a little too fake looking. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this color right here from MAC, which is, I believe, Saddle. Yes, it is. And it's just a nice brown color. It's like a camel brown. And then I'm mixing the red with the brown to make it look a little bit more realistic. And I'm just applying this all over um, underneath my eye and then also some areas above it. Alright, so now that that's on, we're adding more um, to the whole sickness and like rotting flesh, I guess you want to call it, effect. So what I'm doing is underneath my eye, I'm enhancing my dark circles. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this color right here, which is Mystery from MAC. It's a grayish brown. And then I'm also taking this one, which is Shadowy Lady. It's just a nice dark eggplant type of color. And I'm going in with the Mystery, which is the grayish brown color. And just right underneath my eye, especially on the inside and outside corners, I'm just applying it right there just to add a little bit more depth. And then I'm taking the brush and I'm just using a nice fluffy brush. That way I get a soft application of product. And then I'm just following. You can see the line on me. I'm just following that very, very lightly. Then once I have that, I'm going to switch over to the Shadowy Lady, which is that dark eggplant type of color. And then on the inside corner, I'm going to darken that up. So you can see that's adding. And then also bring it up like next to the bridge of my nose. Extend some over into the crease. 
And you'll notice I'm not trying to be too perfect with this. Um, you don't want it to look like eye makeup. You want it to look like your skin is irritated. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but you still want to blend everything so it doesn't look like you put it there at the same time. So I um, kind of want an organized mess. So that's what you're aiming for. And then just to deepen this up a little bit, I'm going to put some right there. And again, just have fun and experiment, play with it. Now that the eyes are done, I'm actually going to go in with that same color combination. I'm going to pick up a little bit of mystery, and I'm going to dust that on my lips. Then, of course, I'm going to extend some below for more shading. By the nose. Then I'm going to go in with that same brush um, and that same color mystery, the grayish brown. And then I'm just going to hollow out some areas of my face just to make them look a little sunken in. Um, I'm using the fluffy brush so that way I make sure I only apply a little bit of product lightly. And I'm mainly going to focus on like carving out uh, my cheeks a little bit in the temples and then maybe some like to hollow out a few other areas. So now that I have that on, now I'm going in with that eggplant color again. In my case, it's Shadowy Lady from MAC, um, but any dark plum would work. And then wherever I feel like I need a little bit more um, depth, then I'm just going to use that color as opposed to using like black or anything like that. So I'm just going to put some like in the area of my lips to darken it up a bit. Amp up like that this area of my contour I'm going to stain my teeth very quickly um, I'm just gonna do this off camera because I already have a video talking about this and then I'll um, do more after that alright so my teeth are stained now what I'm doing I did this in my mummy video but I'm going in with that eggplant color again and I'm taking that same fluffy brush I'm puckering my lips and then dusting the color over it, what that's going to do is it's only going to apply the product on the outside of all the fine lines. So you're going to have these tiny little lines in um, on your mouth, pretty much, to make it look like they're dry and cracking. So you just do that. Mm -hmm. And then you get that, so it looks nice and gross. Now for my eyes, I actually like how it turned out having only one contact in. You could leave both in, but another alternative, and I'm only going to recommend this for, like, photos, um, only because this only stays in your eye for about five minutes. Um, the more you blink, the faster it fades. And these are by Cryolin, but they're eye blood. Um, they're eye drops that have eye-safe dyes in them, so yes, it is safe to use in your eye. It's not going to cause any major problems, but what they are is this one you can see is red. So when you drop it in your eye, it looks like blood, so it makes your whole eye look like blood. And then this one right here is actually black. So it makes your eyes look like there's black ink in them. As you can see, you could use those. Um, I've used them before just playing around and everything. I'm not going to use them right now, but I'll insert a photo right now, and you can see what they look like. Um, and I will tell you right now, if you aren't used to using eye drops, these are going to be very uncomfortable. And the reason for that is because the texture of these is like syrup. So pretty much if you just think about dropping like maple syrup on your eye, that's what it feels like because it's thick and goopy. But it has a great effect. And again, I'm only going to recommend this for like photographs. So if you're doing a photo shoot where you need um, bloody eyeballs or black inky eyeballs, they have other colors too, like blue. So if you want to do something like you're from Dune or yellow, Again, possibilities are endless, um, but the more you blink, it fades away, and then it just washes away completely. So you could use that if you want to. 
I'm just sticking with this. And now the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to make this a little bit bloody. I'm going to use the coagulated um, blood gel from Mehran. It's just thicker, goopier, makes the blood look like it's drying. I'm going to apply this in a few key areas on my face. Now, to make the blood look more realistic um, and not like you just placed it, normally I would take like a texturized sponge. They're really easy to find right now, but apparently I can't find mine that I own. So I just cut a piece of that sea sponge off, but this one is dry, so it's a little stiffer. And then I'm going to go in and press it on top, and it's going to make it more random looking. Then the very last thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to take this, it's from MAC, it's just an all over gloss. Um, using any kind of shiny product for the face would work just as well. Um, I wouldn't recommend using lip gloss for this, but I'm just going to take that and then right on my eyelids, I'm just going to apply this. Now this will crease, um, it will form a line, um, like a perfect line after a certain amount of time. But for the effect I'm going for, that's fine. I don't care. I just want my eyes to have a little gloss to them so they look a little bit more on the sick side. And then it looks like that. It's nice and slimy. Looks like, ugh, gross. But yeah, that's it. The tutorial's done. So hope this is helpful to some of you who are doing like zombie pub crawls and um, just being a zombie or if you just want to do it for fun. Yeah, that's it for now. So until my next video, I'll talk to you all of you soon. Bye.